Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to School Slaw Beer Review. I am Jammer, and this man right next to me is the great, the one and only, yes. the magnificent Shag Dog. Right, Jammer. We're doing this Polish beer. It's called OK Beer, and I don't know how to say that in Polish. Okusim. Okusim. And it's a uh, full pale, I'm going to say full pale beer. We're advocating 78, so European pale lagers. 5.6 percent. Yeah, 5.6 from Brower Okosim something Poland. Okay, year round. All right. And I didn't realize we did this one either, but I like the can. It looks kind of like old school. Yeah, we had done this one a long time ago in the old beer review. Yeah, the town they're out of in Poland is called Brzezek. Brzezekko. B r z e s k o. You can't pronounce it. No, I don't do too good with this Eastern European. Uh, I can't pronounce it either, but... Uh, so, was that Brzezesco? Yeah. Right. Good enough. That's about as good as you're going to get from us. Yeah. You should have learned Polish. When no you offense to any of these people. You yeah. know. You're in Poland for how many days? Uh, Poland. I was in Krakow and... Uh, What's the other famous city over there? Helsinki? No. Polish city, not uh, Warsaw? Anderson. Warsaw, yeah. I was there for at least uh, almost almost a full week, I guess. Uh, about four days, five days there, and then uh, back into Germany. Yeah. Uh, it looks looks nice so far. It's got that frothy head that's holding pretty good. It's not uh, quickly yeah, dissipating. It's, it's it is a creamy, foamy slowly. little head, right? egg, egg white. Type. Yeah. And that color, nice golden. Yeah. Nice golden. And it's lacing up on the sides already. Yeah. That's a weird head. It's very Ooh. foamy. Nice and grassy smelling. Yeah. Yeah, you'll like the grassiness of this one, Shag Dog. Yeah. At least it's not skunky. You're uh, imagining that because it's in a can that it's not skunky. That's probably why. All right, let's roll. Let's drink it. Yeah, crazy enough. Oh, uh, that's uh, holy, holy. I think holy, that's holy. Like Premier of Russia back holy, in the holy. 70s. I think for crazy enough. Holy, 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 holy. Watch it now! Watch it now! Ah! We've been sticking with these pale ales and uh, pale lagers. Not bad. Pills, one pilsner. Yeah, all pale lagers, pilsner. You can say what you want about the Polish, but usually their beer is pretty decent. Yeah, so I've had a couple that were a little eh, questionable, but most of them have been pretty good. Almost, not quite as, but almost as good as the Germans. Yeah, not quite. But they do pretty good on the pale lagers. We've had a couple of the stouts we had were actually pretty good Polish stouts. Yeah, good Polish stouts. I do taste like a slight corn. Yeah. You? A little bit, yeah. Got a nice grassy floral, gra you know, grassy type taste and smell. but Definitely. Ooh, it's like a sweet corn, actually. Yeah. Got a sweet corn. And it gets kind of... Yeah, you know, at the end, it's kind of yeah, it's a little too sweet for my taste. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a corn or something else in it, corn syrup, or maybe I don't know. See, this is what I'm talking about. They have no requirements on beer, yeah, to tell you the ingredients, right? And I think they should tell us the ingredients, right? It's not like uh, liquor, you know, right? Beer. Well, technically, I think, that in, even in liquor, they should tell you what they used. Yeah, whether you're using corn mm -hmm. or some type of malt, uh, whatever malts they're using. Whatever. Wines, they don't really tell you what they used. Right. What kind of grapes you using? You know, where are they from? Oh, yeah. I would be all right with them saying we used white grape from. You don't even have to tell me the town. Oh, you don't okay. even have to tell me the variety. Oh, okay. Just white grape. 
What about the country that came from, got yeah, imported from? Some other yeah, it came from Chile, Chilean yeah, grapes. Yeah, so they're some California company, but they're not using their own vineyards or importing yeah. some shit. Now, like, well, you know, alcohol, okay, we used, we used, uh, uh, grains, uh, you know, from whatever type of grain we used, you know, we used corn, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it's USA or some other country. I'm all right with that. Huh. What's really funny is uh, this was made in 18... 18- the brewery, I guess, 1845. Uh-huh. They got a little logo on there. It's 1845. Then it has Roman numerals, which I guess might mean 1885. I'm not really sure. Uh-huh. But there's a goat with a, a glass, I guess, a beer with a head on it. Uh-huh. But a goat's usually for a box yeah. you know, in Germany. Maybe the goat... The magical goat brought box to Germans, but in Poland they brought pale lagers. Oh, that's a nice little fantasy. This wonderful goat creature yeah. brought beer to the world. He climbs over mountains. Nothing stops him. Nothing stops him. He he's able to st- st- he's able to stumble like a drunk on a mountainside, right. yet still not spill his beer. Right. We're always laying on his feet. Yeah, I like this. And he has Thank a barrel you. like a St. Bernard. Yeah. <laughs> and a brew kit, like on the sides, like a little saddlebags or yeah. something. I like this so far. Oh. We can make a whole kitty story out yeah. of it. What can we call him? Can't call him Jorge or Juan Pablo. No, yeah. it has to have somewhat of a German or a European yeah. name. Eldorf. <laughs> Eldorf. Okay, I won't. Heinrich. Yeah, Heinrich, my. Himmler. George. George Himmler. George the Goat. George the Goat. There you go. George the Goat. Jorge. Man, I guess you can't use certain names in Germany. I wonder if anybody names their kids Heimlich or Himmler or, or any of those German names of all. Well, you could use those names all you want. It's yeah. just what comes along with it for using it. Right. I don't know Himmler's first. Was it Heinrich Himmler? Was that his name? Or? Heinrich Himmler. Yeah, yeah, so you can't name... If your last name's Himmler, you can't name your son Heinrich. You can't. If your last name's Hitler, you can't name your son Aldolf. Nah, well, you could, but... I'd just call him Al. Al Hitler. Almost sounds like... I, I, Al Hitler. Al Hitler! Al Hitler! Al Hitler! Hitler. 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 That'd be a great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That'd be a great skit. Uh, <laughs> hey, is that Al? Yeah, that's your name. Al, Al Hitler, over here. Oh, oh, oh no, over there, over there. <laughs> no, not over here, over uh, there. Ah, Al, Al. Imagine if YouTube actually watched this. Now they're gonna. Oh, I posted. They're gonna ban us just for that. I think we should make it's comedy. I right. think we should make a comedy spoof. Yeah. We should be like, you know, with the kids met Al. Yeah. Or whatever, you know. Or uh, school days of Al. Yeah. Al Hitler. <laughs> with his friend, uh, Hi- Heidi Reich Himmler. As a girl, Heidi. Heidi Reich, Reich. Or, or Heidi Rich, or uh, Himmler, Rich Himmler. Let me make her whole last name Rich Himmler. <laughs> Heidi Rich Himmler. I like the whole idea of the, the Al. That would be so fun. We'll have to get all their names. What's the other guy's name? The guy was in charge of the Air Force and shit. We'll get all their names. We'll just. Oh, golly, what was his name? Rudolf Hess. Rudolf Hess. Yeah, Rudy. he was the he was the main man there. You know. Yeah, so we'd call him Rudy. Rudy Hessler. Yeah, something like that. Oh, uh, Herman Gorin. That's the oh, Air Force one. So we call him Henry Goring. Go- yeah. Go- Go- Goring. Joseph Go- we'll make Goebbels. Him French. Henry Goring. All right, Joseph Goebbels. Joe uh, Goebel. Yeah, of course, Heinrich Himmler. You got Reinhard Heydrich. And then Eldolf Eichmann. Eichmann, yeah. And then, what was Hitler's girlfriend's name? Uh, shit. Wife, whatever that she was. Uh, Eva Braun. Eva Braun. I don't know how we could change that name. It's the Eva, Eva. Yeah, Eva. 
And instead of brown, brown. Or bong. Just call her brown. She'd make her bong if she's a piehead. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Al. No, I don't want to go to the bunker. Edie Brown. Edie Brown, maybe Brown. Yeah. Edie Brown. Edie Brown, they're the Bohemians. I just think it'd be funny that whole that whole. It doesn't even matter if you continue on with other skits. Right. Just that one skit. No, right. not, no, no, don't come here. Over don't come there. here. Over there. Over there, Al. Al Adler. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see the whole all of us standing, you know, like multiple uh, of us, you know. Yeah. Couple of superimposing ourselves together in different costumes. Now, should we, Ow, should, we, should we make how, what would make Al look like? Should he have a little mustache? You don't even have to show him. Oh, you don't have to show him. Should no, think about it. I'm doing you, it from the perspective. Of I think us. you should show him from a distance. But he has like a little mustache. But he has like long hair and maybe a biker, you know, biker outfit. You know, eight off early days. So have a biker patch in the back. It'll say like SS something. You know, or, but you'd have to have it say something else, you know, like a, it's a band or something. And mm. and, and uh, later on, when he grows up, he chain takes the first initials of his favorite band and makes it his, book, yeah. his special services. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that would be good. Oh, boy. Yeah, so, so SS's fair band could have been instead of like Twisted Sister, a simple sister. And then he kept songs like, I want to cook. And he grows up being, wants to cook. <gasps> I want to cook. He said, I want to rock. Oh, yeah, you have to change it. Because, you know, remember, in his early days, he wanted to be an architect and painter. Yeah. So I you, want, okay, I want to paint. 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 <laughs> I want to paint. Paint. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, his rejection from uh, art school. Yeah. Where he, his first submission, <laughs> Al gets the little ad in the, in the paper. It says, "Can you draw this duck?" Remember, right. the, remember the turtle and the, the duck thing that yeah. you drew, and oh, you yeah. send it in, <laughs> and they would evaluate you whether you would go to the school. So he turns around and draws it, and he becomes a graduate of that little All school. Right. You could have a twist, this, almost twist the sister type video with that song too. And what do you want to do with your life? I want to paint. You know, like a little kid with a man's phone. <laughs> when the video starts up. And you know, in the early days, he had the handlebar mustache. Yeah. Back there in World War I. Yeah. Was. And then he changed it. That was a weird style. Cause that, I mean, you think people would still have that style if it wasn't for Hitler? I don't think so. It's kind of a weird mustache style. I don't know. I, I think some people still do. Laurel that Hardy, style. one of them had it, right? But some of them would still have it. Maybe that's what we copied. Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, Charlie Chaplin, too. Yeah, maybe that's what we copied, one of them, right? Mm, no problem. All right, let's not talk about Hitler again. <laughs> well, that is, it's a funny subject. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we get down the road where there's no return. Though. Yeah, well, that is definitely a road of no return. Yeah. Because, I mean, how are you going to, how's it all going to unfold? Yeah. I mean, Anyway, I got to tick it up on... Al Hits Puberty. We can just do a skit ourselves on YouTube if they let us. You know what? Al Hits Puberty. Yeah. Days of Puberty with Al. Leave me alone! Yeah, that, your, uh... I don't care, Dad. <laughs> you wait. One day I'm going to rule the world. <laughs> and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I didn't kill a whole bunch of people. <laughs> I'll kill everybody. Cause me pain. I just think it'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, you know, granted, people are going to say that's not funny. But, yeah, in a way it yeah, is. It's kind of morbid comedy, but yeah. It's dark humor. Dark humor, yeah. Uh, it's, 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 just a, it's get past it, all right, yeah. people? You can it's, be offended by yourself in the mirror all you want. You know? It's good for a quick laugh, but... Yeah, it's just... Silly humor, you know, dark humor. Well, that's jumping the fire. All right. 
I can't remember what I was going to tell you earlier, but you're really bummed today. What did? I think it's the hats. They don't allow the sun's rays in and I'm thinking. And you're thinking, Cap? Yeah. Did we give a grade on this? No, I don't think we did. Let's give it a grade. I'll give it a C, full swallow. That weird sweetness in it, I'm going to give it a C minus and a put a swallow though. Mm -hmm. This is weird. I don't like that sweetness. Yeah. They could have done without that and it would have been a good beer. Yeah. All right. Well, what else are we going to talk about? Anything? I just have to finish my beer, right? Yeah. You can, finish your beer. You can finish your beer anytime you feel like it. Yeah. yeah. How far? 17 minutes right now. That's fine. We're about to get into some better beer. So far, though, I think the Dale we're, Dale's... We're about to ramble into some kind of interesting subject. I have that feeling. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Dale's Pale. Pale Ale was probably the best so far, I think, of all these, right? Yeah, probably. And it wasn't even that good. No, I mean, it was good, but it's, it's a, definitely a heavier, mm -hmm. you know, Pale Ale, yeah. But we're about to get some good beers now, right? I don't know, are we? What was I going to say? Let's see what I was going to think of. It was something really weird. Here we are drinking a Polish beer, which Germany invaded Poland. We're talking. Jesus. Polish people are going to love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> we, I mean, we apologize. But we hope you think it's funny. You know, it's not funny that people died and all that right. stuff. Right. I mean, people's grandparents, great grandparents, they're all gone. Yeah. All this, but let's face it, you know, a lot of times we find humor in things just to be able to tolerate or yeah. live with it. But you have to find humor in everything. You can't sit there and like cry about the world every day. And I think you'll never get out of bed. Yeah. You never want to do anything. Unless you want to go protest and loot and burn shit. That's the only thing you'll get out of bed for. It. I mean, even the then, you're not doing anything constructive. Right. The rest of the time, you won't work. You go home and play video games or whatever and collect your welfare check. I don't even know how to get on welfare. I like to get on welfare. Not really. Because really, you're on welfare. Why can't you get disability from, who? from the military? I never. Well, it's a lot of paperwork. and mm -hmm. I would only get a small amount. I don't that. know. I know somebody who is in better shape than you, and he's getting almost like 75%. Oh, yeah. I could claim, I don't know, it's not on the list, but for certain ailments I have where I was at in Panama, they used Agent Orange down there at the range. Of course, it was in the 70s. I was there in the 90s. But was that shit left over still there? And I even cleaned a bunker one time. Old World War II bunker had a bunch of moss. They put us out there to clean it, you know, mm -hmm. paint it. It was by somewhere far from, it was like a World War II bunk, it was a concrete bunker, you know, scraping shit off, no fucking mask or anything, probably breathe some of that shit. Who knows, there was an Agent Orange soaked into that shit. Or lead paint. That too, yeah. Yeah, so who knows if my brain ailment might be from that or who knows. Other stuff too, large kidney, uh, lung problem. Mm -hmm. But I ain't gonna let... Going to break your stride, right? I'm, I'm living large. Mm -hmm. You're gonna let anybody break your stride, you know, that they go no, I mean, you I, down. I think I'm, oh no, there's people that are you less got to keep on moving. I think there's some people that are less healthy than me that are about my age and not as good at health as yeah. I am. I'm not in the greatest of health, but I'm not really bad. I'm not, I'm not like Look at that pretty. Where's that on the fence? Oh, that's a lizard. No, you missed it. I'm oh, over fence. there. I'm looking at the lizard right here. I know. I mean, why would I say bird? Well, maybe it's, it's a bird lizard. I don't. <laughs> what kind of roar thinking that you got? Well, maybe your angle. You, you do have something wrong with your brain. You just said it. You have brain thing and the lung thing. And the what do you say? Look at that birdie. The first thing I look over there on the fence, I like to see the lizard. I don't look at the far fence. I'm near far, uh, far sighted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about moving that fence, Which that one? portion of fence right here, up to the uh, uh, the front 
right. Oh, further up. Right where it evens out with the front of the house. Yeah, we gotta make that gate wider too, so I can fit my trailer through. You hear me? If you look up up at the uh, first house as you come in, yeah. they have a trailer in the back. Yeah, people are living out of that. Supposedly, I don't know if it's true, but over by my mom's church where she works, there was a trailer down here in Sixth Street. People living in that. But they supposedly my mom said, Man, I don't see a trailer anymore. My mom said, Yeah, they said it. They came and told me that to a trailer you can't be living in a trailer in the city limits, but but there's all over it. They're all over the place. They can't catch everybody. Well, the one up the street there, yeah. they're, they're living in there, but they don't make it out to be, you know, so blatant, blatant well, you know. Yeah. I mean, you're not, supposedly you're not supposed to park them in the back of the house. You're supposed to have them inside, so. Who said that? I don't know. That's what I read somewhere. That's in the back of his house. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know where we put my trailer, though. It'd be along the fence line over there. Where at? On the back side. Oh, you're going to put it way back there? Over here. Right there. Oh, that fence. Right next to the building and the fence there. Way over there? It'll be so far away from you. <sighs> you put it right over there. Yeah. And uh, then you have it facing this way where nobody can really see you. The only thing bad about that is... If I do use the toilet services, I'd have to pay someone to come out here all the time to empty that shit out. But that's like about a hundred bucks a month. The girl told me that. That's a view. That food. was was her. Her and I don't know. I know definitely two of them lived in there. That's I get if you're using it on a regular basis. But I like to use my own toilet, especially if it's brand new. Yeah. Don't you like to sit on a brand new toilet? Whatever. A brand new throne. It's like a Game of Thrones. Whatever. <laughs> I'd like to get a toilet that has swords all behind it. But I'm going to put an outside the, eventually. I don't know when. Put an outside shower. Out there. Outside shower? Where are you yeah. going to shower? I'm going to put it right on that building over there. you like a wall? Like, so That's the, on, you, know, on clo- you know, where you can walk in like a stall. Oh, yeah. And coming out the, the little shower. Because so I got power out there. So you like and the I shower up, outside naked? No, I got power out there, and I got water out there. Yeah. So I could just hook up the power, and I could hook up a hot or portable, you know, the one, the small little hot water heater. Yeah. And the reason is, is because, like, when I start mowing my grass again and all that stuff myself, doing yard work, I'm going to get dirty and everything, be filthy, you know? Instead of tracking inside, I could go over there, rinse off, wash off, and everything like that, and change clothes. Mm-hmm. So that's weird, and you don't need it. Well, back in the day, some people like back out in the those day. Showers. Back in the day, most of the old houses down here in Florida has an outdoor shower. I know this girl. I know her father lives in Jacksonville, right by the river in Jacksonville, and he has an outdoor shower. Got like a little wall. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you look peek over the wall, you can see the river. He lives right by the river. Yeah. I'm like, that's kind of weird. You should go to the show. Oh, I love going to visit my father and take my outdoor shower. Yeah. I don't know about going out there purposely to have a shower, but, you know. I guess it would be kind of cool. I'll say, oh, I'll be on a boat. Yeah. Well, boat. I mean, if you're out in the country, country, you know. Yeah. But uh, most of the places had uh, an outdoor shower and had a uh, spot where you could rinse off your feet and stuff. Yeah. When you were outside. It's because, uh, you know, dust and dirt and all that stuff, when you're working outside, you don't want to traipse it inside. So they would wash, rinse, get that excess of amount off of you. Anyway, shag dogs. 511, I don't like being climbed. Don't swipe if you can't handle a bigger girl. Nothing serious, just move down here. Okay. She's five foot what? 11. And she's 20 years old, and she swiped right on me. Could be a scam. Yeah, swipe right on her. She's in Orlando. I don't travel to Orlando. Uh, oh, God. There's some guys I know, though. I won't mention their names because they were both married or had girlfriends at the time, but they'd go on Tinder. And there were two studs, must, you know, good shape, six feet, six foot two, whatever, mm-hmm. really slim and good shape, you know. They'd swipe on these girls, and they're like, yeah. Oh, last week I met a girl in Ocala. Yeah, they go and yeah, and 
I tra- oh yeah, I travel all over. I tag these girls all over. I like you drive that far just to tag a girl. And I said you get all of them. Oh yeah, get there. We get a, either go back to her place or get a hotel and tag it, and then go on to the next one. I'm like man, that's that's kind of I, I ain't spending that much money or traveling that much. <laughs> of course, I'm not that good looking either. If I was, I guess if I was good looking, it'd be a different story. Well, it depends on what you're getting. Yeah. I guess if you were getting uh, a nine out of ten, you know, or a ten ten, or eight ten, you know, all the time. Yeah. yeah. Then, uh, yeah, okay, you might want to travel for it. I still want to travel. I'm a one girl man. Mm-hmm. Most of the time. I mean, you got accused of it, and you weren't even doing it. I know. <laughs> and I didn't cheat on her the whole. How many years? 2001 all the way till, I, mean, I thought about it, don't get me wrong, a couple times, but never did. 2001 all the way to 2012, that's a long time. Mm-hmm. And I was accused of it like two or three times with certain girls. Uh, that one Heidi girl, Heidi, what was her name? Blonde girl, I had bad breath that Chaz filmed in the bathroom, thought I was in there, I wasn't even there. And then, uh, I wish I was in there. Don't blame myself for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Somebody else. Oh, of course, the other girl, Key West girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Jesus, I should have banged out of her those two nights. Mm-hmm. Felt in trouble, I guess. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. years, she still course, she still believed it for years. Ten years later, she thought I did her. And of course, uh, uh, what's her name too? But you know why? All because I like that. White all, chocolate. All because and the one time we went to Cheers cat. afterwards. She was sitting somewhere at the table, and I guess she want Stacy wanted to sit next to me, and she was. And I was like, sit over on the other side. There was a whole chair across me. You know? I got to sit right next to me. I didn't want her to move. She already had the chair. You know, Brandy did. But she, but she wanted me to tell Brandy to move. I'm like, I'm not telling her to move. Oh, well. So that's another reason. Oh, you, you had sex with her when you were on that trip, did you? <laughs> Oh boy. I don't like confrontation, yeah. Why am I gonna tell somebody to move they're already sitting in a chair, yeah. Oh well. Alright, so now we're down to depressing stuff again. Yeah. That's, what's that shirt? Is that Colorado? I'm done people. It looks like a Colorado flag. It's just I'm done people in yeah. I saw somebody else wearing that shirt today. I get the this is the most commented T shirt I have. Oh yeah. I get the most com you know, brother I feel you. Yeah. With your T-shirt, I'm right there with you. Mm. Uh, all every almost everybody yeah, I nobody, ever wrote nobody should be done people. We should be all people. They're like, the, oh, man, I love your shirt. Yeah, well, you're people in right there. Man. Really, you're done people in, but now you're people in just because of your shirt yeah. and not that you're done people. In. But I get the most comments. You on get the, the most people in because of the done people yeah. shirt. <laughs> should put down there. I'm done people in. So don't tell me anything about my fucking shirt. Because <laughs> then you're people in. <laughs> oh, well. Fucking people. All right, let's call this one up, Jammer. It's 30 minutes. I'm sure <sighs> yeah, I have a lot of editing. Like you. I yeah. Hate, I hate that job. Yeah. All right, I am Shag Dog. I am Jammer. We Should are I do the a Spitter Swallow Beer Review. Should I do a different closeout? That's the best closeout See we have. Yeah. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, uh, liking, sharing, clicking the bell. Yes. And remember to watch every night. Yeah. Every episode of the Spitter Swap Swap Beer. Beer. Do it. If you watch all the episodes, I hope all of you saved them somehow. Yeah. They're going to be a masterpiece someday. One day. Yes. Actually, each one of the videos have a... Well, I don't know if we should let this out. Should we? Might as well. Each video is specially coded. So if you actually go through each video and, I mean, and put them together the way they're supposed to be put together, you'll get a big surprise. It's, it's hilarious. It's funny. It's, it's very in, imaginative and ingenious. I couldn't believe that Shag Dog came up with it. Yeah, well. But he did. And I kind of came up with it, but then you put two and two. I didn't really know what I was talking about. You put two and two together. Yeah. 
I mean, we did it somewhat with the old videos and everything, but it wasn't as elaborate as it is on these. Yeah. So, All anyway. right. Anyway. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Hey. He's a breast on this show. <laughs> see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.